not the time to be having a hot flash when you've got a plastic cap on your head. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I am gonna highlight my hair. I am self tanning myself right now. I don't have any makeup on and I shock myself sometimes how I get on here, but you know what? This is life. This is how I look. So I'm not ashamed of it. So I'm gonna do my highlights with a cap and I don't have any help. My husband should be home soon, so I'm hoping by the time he gets home that I will be ready for the back to be pulled. I know it doesn't look that dark, but you can see that I need it done. Even though my regrowth is only this long, it really affects the volume in my hair and I start feeling so drab and my hair starts feeling like it's dirty faster. So that's why I wanna get it done. I can't remember the last time I had my hair done professionally. I did have a really great colorist and then COVID hit and I started doing it on my own. And you know, when you can do something on your own and save money, that's kind of what it is for me. But the other reason I don't book is because I'm just not organized. <laughs> when I really want my hair done, I want it done now. And I just don't think to book in advance. So that's why if I were more organized, I would love to go get my hair done. And I really do need to get it cut badly. My daughter's cut my hair. I've cut my hair. My husband's cut my hair. Even my son has cut my hair. And I know it's in bad shape, so. I do need to get it done. Now, I just part it where I normally part it and let it fall. I have pulled it back in the cap before, but I think this works better. So I'm gonna put it on, look ridiculous. There, I can't believe what I do these days. Oh, I gotta get it centered. Why is it never looking centered? Am I, do I have a crooked head? It does look crooked, doesn't it? So I'm gonna pull this back and tie it nice and tight. Yeah, like that. I hope it doesn't affect my self tan. Watch me have a big like ribbon mark on my chin. <laughs> That'd be funny. The crochet hooks that I have are from Amazon. This is all from Amazon, by the way. I either use the teal or I use the fuchsia, which is the 1.25 millimeter or the one millimeter. I never use the blue one. That one's a 1 1.5 millimeter. I don't want them chunky, so that's why. Typically what I'll do is use the smaller one around the hairline where my hair is finer, and then I switch to the pink one for the rest of it. So I have a magnifying mirror here. I can see that my hair is directed down this way and down this way. I'm gonna go in on an angle and not poke directly in. So I'm going to, I'll start up here. I'm gonna start here. Oh, I grabbed it already. And I'm gonna pull that way. Now there are two layers to this cap. One is the top and one is a little plastic bag underneath and you have to poke through that. If you have a sensitive scalp, maybe you don't wanna do this. I don't have a sensitive scalp, but maybe there's a difference when I do it myself. I don't know. I just don't, I have a high pain tolerance. I don't find this painful. That's part of the reason why you wanna go in on an angle as well is um, you know, I'm not poking my scalp. Oh, see how much darkness I have there compared to the light? There's a lot and we're just gonna keep going. Now, I don't know if you can see, I hope that you can see that there are little, there's loops here. Do you see that? So I wanna make sure that that is all popping through because otherwise you're gonna end up with spots and you don't want that. So I can take a comb and make sure that it's all pulled through. You see what I mean? And there's a loop there, I can see it. If you have young eyes, maybe you don't need a 10 times mirror, but it really helps me out. Because otherwise, if I was relying on a regular mirror, I wouldn't have seen the loop. I would comb it through no matter what though. Even if you don't think you see a loop, there's probably a loop. And I can see them right here, you see? There's one right there. One right there. So I'm never gonna suggest that you do this by yourself, by the way. I'm a licensed hairstylist and my hair is naturally light. I'm a level seven, which is considered a light blonde. My hair used to be much more red when I was younger. If you find that your hair is hard to get through the holes, you could add like a hair oil to it. Make sure if you're planning on doing this that you've really conditioned your hair well. Also, if you have naturally curly hair, you can straighten it first and that will help it glide through as well. So around the front, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of baby lights. The definition of baby lights would be me going through 
somebody's hair, a section of hair, and going tiny, tiny, tiny little weaves. And that's what the fine crochet hook would replicate. Only when you do it through a cap, it's more scattered. So you're really not gonna end up with that line of demarcation. Like I have a line of demarcation, but it's kind of scattered throughout because it's not uniform, you know, like you would in a foil or that one section. So in actual fact, it can end up looking more natural. And I am making sure to pull every hole. I'm gonna use the thinner one here as well. I want it to be nice and light around my face. So I probably will go back and poke my own holes, but you don't have to do that. And if you're only wanting a little, you don't have to do every hole. So there's the holes in the circle, and then there's the hole in between. And you can see a big loop there. I hope you can see that. Making sure that that comes out. Once you get the hang of it, you can get going pretty fast until the back, and that becomes difficult. So if my husband's not back in time, what I'll probably do is go take my mirror and turn my back to the bathroom mirror and try to find the holes by looking at this mirror. Yeah, look at that big piece that I wanna lighten up. It'll be so nice when it's all done. I went shopping yesterday with my husband and I got a cute little jogger set from Aritzia. It's nice wearing nice clothes to lounge around. Although like, again, you guys never see me like that because I'm always in a situation where I can mess up my clothes and I don't want my nice clothes to get ruined. I just gotta get better at not making a mess. I don't know how to do that, honestly. So my part is right there and I wanna make sure that I get a good amount around my part. So I'm gonna switch it to the pink one. Just will pull thicker sections. I hope you can see that. It's already getting hard to see, guys. There's a reason that we used to do this back in the day, because it's fast. Like if I were doing this on a client, it would take me much less time to do their hair if they were just a basic highlight like this. Also, the benefit of using a cap is that when I put the bleach on, it's all at once. So the front isn't processing faster than the back or the back isn't processing longer than the front. I do apply the bleach on the back first because that is denser and it's gonna take longer for it to lighten compared to the front. So if you have fragile pieces up here, maybe do that. Put the bleach on for a little less time at the front. Now, when I have this all done and I put my bleach on, once it's all developed, I don't generally tone it because I don't mind my hair having a little bit of warmth. This one was a little bit more difficult to get out and that is because it's a little bit looser here. So I will put my fingers here to tighten it so it comes out and grabs the hair better. Oh, I think my husband might be home. Maybe Chris is home. Bring in reinforcements. Too bad the dogs can't help. You would think that she hasn't been home in weeks. She just went to work. And of course, one side's always easier than the other because I'm right-handed. So that other side is a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit. Make sure your hook is facing the right way or you're just gonna poke a hole and not grab any hair. Let's get that out of my way. <laughs> oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, no, wrong one. Pink. The other disadvantage of doing this at home is that you don't know what your hair is gonna look like afterwards. So actually having a toner ready may be a little bit difficult for you. Because I'm so used to doing my hair, I already know what I wanna do with my hair. Say you have a darker hair color and you can only get it as light as like an orange or a copper, then you need to have the proper toner to tone your hair. Well, how are you gonna know that? How are you gonna know? Unless you do a test strand. I, I would suggest that that's the best way to do it is to do a test strand. And then if you can only get it as light as a copper, like a level seven, or even like a orange yellow, for an example, then you'll know to go to the store or to order something on Amazon that's going to counteract that orange or yellow or even go with it. Maybe you don't even have to worry about that. Maybe you want a warm highlight instead of a cool highlight, which is beautiful. And in that case, you just want to, you know, tone it to a pretty warm color, if that makes sense. So if something happens with my hair, I have a lot of color in my house because I used to run a salon in my home. So I have products at my fingertips if I need it. All those loops, try to get that out. 
I probably could have used the fine one all the way through, but I like it nice and bright. Funny, it's like no blonde has touched this. You can see it just on the ends. I actually might pull it through. See, you can see how bright that is. That's how I want the rest of my hair, nice and bright. You could do this if you wanted to low light too, you know. Say you have really blonde hair and it's just too blonde, you could absolutely do the cap and low light it. When you low light though, you have to be really careful because it depends on how many levels you're darkening it to. And it's considered a color correction, so you really have to know color theory and understand what colors you need to do your low lights because it can look really yucky if you're not careful. I'm getting to the point where I can hardly see it now, so get in there. <laughs> you can see me fishing around for the hole. It does feel like a lot of hair, eh? I have in the past, I'm just remembering now, I would go in the back and only do the circles. I hope this isn't too much. I don't think so though. I'm going for it, I don't care. It always feels like this side has less hair. It must, I'm sure it does. Cause I'm not imagining that the way it feels. It's the same crochet hook. Why would that be, I wonder? Get in there. This is why help would be good. Yeah, so my daughter, <laughs> is home, but she's going out with her boyfriend. So no help there. If you make a hole, make sure to get hair because that will just be a hole for your bleach to seep through. This is when I pray that it works. If it doesn't work, I just won't post this video, I guess. <laughs> then I'll have to go to the hair salon and get it fixed. I'll be so embarrassed if it doesn't work out. There's hair right there. I know there is, there we go. Yeah, it, to me it's really important to get those pieces by the crown or by the part. Just want it nice and bright. Oh, it's exhausting. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and do my reverse mirror trick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I pulled a lot and that was hard. Oof, some swear words happened. I'm gonna put my cape on. If you don't have a cape, just use an old shirt and get yourself some gloves. I actually remembered this time. Just gonna give it a final comb. It's a lot of hair. <laughs> it's okay, I'll be refreshed. I should zoom you guys out a little bit. I always mix too much bleach. I like to put it on heavy to make sure that it's saturated. I have a Gora Vario Blonde Plus, and this is Schwarzkopf, any bleach will do. I have my bowl and I have a scale. This is a kitchen scale and I set it on there and I tear it, so I set it to zero. I'm gonna get it on a flat surface and there, it's at zero and it's on mills. So for the states, you'll be in ounces. For us, it's mills. And I'm gonna do a full scoop. I kind of heap it almost at 50, so I'm gonna get it to 50. I'm gonna mix this two to one. So I've got 50 mils, which is a lot. You'll see, <coughs> I'm choking. Try to do it in a ventilated area. So because I have 50 mils of the bleach, I'm gonna do 100 mils of the 20 volume. I always use the dedicated developer. You don't have to, but they work in synergy with each other. So I just recommend you do that. I'm going to mix it with a spatula. And I just mix it gently. I hope that you can see that it's mixing there. Is that focused? Sorry if it's not focused. I'm not a photographer or a videographer, so learning the lighting and everything and the color grading is not the easiest for me. I have a plastic bag here as well. I'm gonna make sure to cover my highlights once it's all applied. And the reason you do that is because you don't want the bleach to dry out. If it dries out, then it stops working. So we don't wanna do that. Get my gloves on, any gloves will do. I really got some great gloves at Costco actually. I don't know where they went. I think they're down in my painting area. I started painting a while ago and then I got into filming more and I haven't been downstairs since. It's such a mess down there. So I have a brush. Let me take a look at my ends here. You know, it is mostly natural. There's not a whole lot of highlight there. I really don't wanna overlap but at the same time, that's mostly natural. Yeah, you see like there's only a little bit there. I might just go for it. I might have some breakage, that's the only problem. Let me take a look here. Can I see? Yeah, see, that's mostly my natural color. 
Learn by my mistakes if I don't do this right. <laughs> if I have my hair fall out, it's only me to blame. I'm gonna start at the root and I'm starting at the back because it's the thickest and the coarsest of my hair. Everything here is really fine. So it's gonna lift easier. And I wanna make sure I saturate that really well. And I should show you guys, except for that if I showed you what I was doing, then I couldn't reach my bowl. So use your imagination. That's what I'll do. I'll do the roots first and then I'll let that sit for a minute and then I'll get through the rest. And I'm going down and I'm going up. Don't worry if you're only doing the roots because it will all blend in the end. You're not gonna see where it stops and starts, trust me. I can feel with my thumb where the edge of the cap is. So I'm not going below that and touching the hair underneath. I'm using my tail of my comb to section it out, pulling it apart and saturate. Sectioning again. I will double check everything when I'm done so that I make sure that I didn't miss anything. I don't want any holes. Okay, where am I here? There's the edge of my cap. I have lots of bleach. I don't normally mix that much. I just got a little carried away. And once I do this, I, if I'm in the middle of it and I run out of bleach, that's the worst. Especially if I'm trying to film, you know? So that's why I mixed a little bit more. I'm gonna comb that out. Looking at my monitor and everything's backwards. Can you see? Okay, and then saturate. Maybe a bit here too. Hairstylists everywhere are going, what is she doing? <laughs> I'm being an impatient hairstylist. That's what I'm being. Now I am going to pull it through on the ends. And this way. Part of the reason I do this is because it gives me so much volume. It's not that I don't like the color of my hair. I don't like how flat it lies when it's really natural and healthy. Okay, let's get all of that in. Where's my mirror? I think I left it in the bathroom. That actually looks good because I ran it through and I kind of left the ends out a little bit, so it's gonna be good. This is where I have to be a lot more careful because I have a lot more blonde in here and if that breaks, I'm in big trouble. So I'm really gonna focus on the roots first. I may have to mix more bleach because that's how much hair I've got going. Yeah, see that is quite blonde there. So I'm only gonna do the roots. So this one here is a little blonde and I want to just scrape some of that off. Do you see that? I hope. Got to be careful here too. Oh, I missed a whole spot there. You see that? And there's loops. Oh my God. 
No. How did I miss the loops? Okay, yeah, so I can see a few pieces of blonde here that I wanna make sure it doesn't touch. The rest, I feel like it's gonna be safe. Maybe there's a piece here I'll protect. It's hard, eh? Like, again, another reason why it's not something you really should do at home. <laughs> this is quite dark. I might have to mix more. Okay, you see these pieces here? I hope you can see those. Um, they're not saturated enough, so I'm gonna make a little bit more and saturate that. I am gonna be so blonde. Hey Siri. Uh-huh. Set timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes starting now. My husband keeps bugging me to go get this done professionally. He might have been right. He's like, just go get it done. <laughs> it'll be beautiful. It will be beautiful, I swear. Imagine. I might end up with short hair tomorrow. I would rather use a lot of bleach than not enough. Just because you're adding more bleach doesn't mean it's going to get lighter, you know? It's not going to make it stronger. Well, I mean, it kind of is. It's going to make it do its job. I think that is good enough. Then there's this chunk right here. I'm saying a little prayer that the already blonde pieces stay on my head. Like a prayer, <laughs> gonna take you. Well, that one. Let's go with that one. Let's make sure that one is good. Oh, this one's important. What the? Escapee. This is the delicate area. Be careful, be careful. Did I literally just put it all over? I think I did. I just totally went against what I said I was gonna do and I did go over some blonde. It's okay, it's all gonna be okay. I think like this piece right here, I'm gonna take off. Yeah, that's a good one. It's just those few pieces, eh? Kind of feel like having my hair shorter anyway. Maybe this will make me do it. All right, I'm gonna let that sit. I did set the timer already for 45 minutes, so it's been on there for a bit and while I play. Now I'm gonna put my cap on just to make sure that it doesn't dry out. Ooh, let's get that in there. And I'm gonna check the back and make sure that I don't have anything touching the outside hair. All right, so it's been actually a little over 45 minutes because when I checked it, it needed a little bit more. So when I check my hair, I take a towel and I go through it like this. Oops, I can't see. <laughs> and I dry a piece off, okay? Oh, you guys can't see. This is pale yellow. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. And that is pale yellow. And it still feels strong, so that's good. So you're checking for elasticity. There's a lot of elasticity there, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go wash this off. A question that a lot of people ask me is, when I rinse it off, do I take the cap off first? I don't know what I'm gonna do this time because it has a lot on it, but generally I will take the cap off when it's got the product on, but it might kind of get caught this time, I'm not sure. So I may rinse it first, and if I need to, I might add a touch of conditioner. I'll see if I can pull it off without rinsing it first, but I have a feeling I might need to. It depends on how long your hair is, how tangly it is, and how much product, I don't know. But I'll let you know as soon as I do it. My skin is so dry today, I'm actually gonna put some Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum on. I already have hyaluronic acid from Go Pure. And what else do I have on? Oh, I have Skin Barrier by Paula's Choice. This feels good. Oh, it's kind of like a, it's got a little bit of oil in it. it. Looks like my tan didn't take. I didn't have it on that long. It just brought out my hyperpigmentation. Really didn't give me much color, darn it. Good news is my hair is still on my head. Yay! 
I normally don't blow dry it this fast because it's pretty wet. This is the purple shampoo that I use, by the way. This is the Emica Buster Brass Cool Blonde Repair Shampoo. I just started using this. I started to pay a little closer attention to ingredients and I noticed that what I was using, I don't know, I, I wanted to switch it up, let's just say. So I'm really liking that so far. I have the shampoo and the conditioner as well. This is from my shower, so it looks gross. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I actually just saw somebody else say that it was on sale. Look at my hair. <laughs> I'm just talking to you with this looking like this. I'm far too comfortable on camera. I heard that this was on sale. 30% off, I believe, the whole, I don't know. There's a big sale going on on their website. So check that out if you wanna uh, look at Briogeo. One of my favorite products from them is the charcoal um, exfoliant, I believe it's called. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. I loved that product, but my daughter needed it more than me, so I gave it to her, and I haven't replenished it yet, so I need to do that. I really liked it. It's still pretty wet, so I'm gonna take a towel and try to get some more water off. It will take forever if I start blow drying it now, the way it is. Yeah, I can feel it soaking up. I'm gonna use my Shark today, I think. The Dyson is really good. Um, but I just wanted to give this a try. I feel like this doesn't get quite as hot, but I may change my mind. I might just forget. I love this. Oh, I feel so much better. That's what was missing. I was feeling so dull. I, uh, yeah, nothing could make me feel better. It was the hair. I'm gonna flip this upside down and roughly dry it because there's no point in getting a brush through this. It's gonna take forever. I just wanna loosely dry it and then I can style it after. While I'm at it, I haven't used the wands in a while. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, I always get confused. So this is this way. Yeah, that's that way. Let's see what it looks like. So my hair is just slightly damp now. I forget about this because I get in my usual routine. The problem with this is that you have to switch sides so that's why you saw me going upside down to get it go to go forward. It really does take a bit to get used to. I feel like now that I've got my highlights, I'm gonna have more incentive to do my hair. I just wasn't excited to do it. Why do I wear a sweatshirt? See, this is why I always wear tank tops. It's hot. <laughs> okay guys, I am so happy with my hair. I don't know what the back looks like, let me check. I may not have gotten all the curls, but it's almost bedtime. I'm gonna comb through it. I started this whole night thinking, I need a haircut, I need a style change, I hate my hair, and now I don't feel like I need to cut it. I feel like I have lots of bounce, brightness, and it just feels good. Sometimes that's all you need is a little bit of brightness and you just feel like a whole new you. I'm not encouraging any of you to do this at home, but if you are going to do it at home, please ask me and I will help you as best I can. And yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave, share with all your friends, 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye.